We still don't know this morning who the next president of the United States is. However, Democrat Joe Biden is now just a stone's throw away from winning the White House. As you can see at the bottom of your screen, Biden is inching closer to that magic number of 270 electoral college votes. And this morning, we are once again watching several key battleground states where the votes are still being counted. We are expecting updates from at least two of those states this morning. Here's a look at where we stand right now, beginning with Georgia. The president leads by more than 18,000 votes, with 96 percent of polls reporting. Fulton County, where Atlanta is located, expects to have more results by 11 a.m. this morning. Georgia holds 16 electoral college seats. In Nevada, Joe Biden is currently ahead by a mere 7,600 votes, or half a percentage point. 86 percent of the polls are reporting. However, officials have suggested they will update results by noon Eastern. Nevada has six electoral college seats. Ninety-five percent of the ballots have been counted in North Carolina, where President Trump leads Joe Biden by more than 7,600 votes. However, the results aren't expected to change now for another week as mail-in ballots are tabulated. North Carolina holds 15 electoral college seats. And let's turn now to Pennsylvania. With 89 percent of polls reporting, Donald Trump holds a 164,000 vote lead over Joe Biden. Mail-in votes are still being counted at this time, a good number of which are expected to favor the Democrats. State officials have said that most votes will be counted by tomorrow. Pennsylvania holds 20 electoral colleges and possibly, possibly, the keys to the White House. Meantime, a number of U.S. cities are now contending with widespread protests, especially in states where the votes are still being counted. Stop the vote! Stop the vote! The balloting issues raised by the Trump campaign has prompted demonstrations across the country. In Detroit, Trump supporters crashed polling stations chanting, stop the vote. At the same time, a separate group marched through the city demanding every vote be counted. Protests have erupted in Philadelphia, where mail-in ballots are still being tallied. In Oregon, the National Guard was activated when police declared a riot in Portland. So let's turn our focus now to Philadelphia. CTV's Abby Kovathian is standing by with the very latest for us this morning. Abby, good morning to you. So let's begin by talking about the counting protests, or, or, or the counting, rather, the counting process. We'll get to the protests in just a moment. Where do we stand now? I know that we're expecting to hear some sort of update, but how are things looking at this hour? Yeah, I mean, we're in standing in front of the Pennsylvania Convention Center where they're counting those mail-in ballots for Philadelphia County. As you mentioned, most of those mail-in ballots were requested and submitted by registered Democrats, so there is an expect expectation that there will be a surge for Joe Biden. There might be an update around noon here in Philadelphia, so we're going to wait and see how that goes. But we may not have a full picture, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, and that's because mail-in ballots postmarked until Election Day could still be counted. In the state of Pennsylvania, there's still a about 400,000 ball uh, 400, ballots left to be counted. It's taking some time. Again, a lot of people voted mail-in because of the pandemic. So a lot, of course, riding on Pennsylvania that cannot be overstated. Um, what's it looking like, do you think, once we add in all those votes from the Philly area for Joe Biden? Yeah, I mean, we know that Joe Biden spent quite a bit of time in Philadelphia in the days leading up to Election Day, because even though the Democrats thought that they would win in this county, um, because it is heavily Democrat, they wanted to win by a very large margin so that in hopes that Philadelphia would push Pennsylvania towards the Democrats. Um, so in that vein, he certainly did that. In the terms of the votes that are being counted now, again, as I mentioned, mail-in ballots are key here. Most of the Democrats in this area requested the mail-in ballots, and so those are being counted. We saw on Election Day that Donald Trump had a lead of about 700,000 votes. He came out, he declared victory for himself, he said he'd won Pennsylvania, but in the hours that followed, we saw that blue surge, and now the lead for um, Donald Trump is just 164,000 votes, um, and he's certainly, again, looking at throwing out law lawsuits in hopes of stopping the count here as Joe Biden surges, Marcia. Abby, what about those protests? What are you seeing in Philadelphia and in other parts of the country? 
Yeah, I mean, especially in the last couple of days since the polls closed and the counting um, was being called by Donald Trump as being fraudulent just because, you know, election officials were looking to finish counting. The people here in Philadelphia, again, mostly Joe Biden supporters, but also saying that those votes should be counted. There was a demonstration here last night. There's also some pockets of uh, demonstrations around, and they're not Joe Biden uh, demonstrations more so, but they're pro-democracy demonstrations, which is certainly interesting to see in the United States of America. They're saying every Every vote should be counted. Every vote should matter. It should be the American people who decide their next president, not Donald Trump saying that something is fraudulent. And we've heard Joe Biden say that several times. And two times that we've seen him come out publicly and speak since the polls closed, that's exactly what he's been saying. He has not declared victory for himself, but the Democrats are certainly very confident in the outcome. Abby, thank you for that. Reporting from the political center of the universe this morning, Abby Quahathison, we appreciate the reporting and we'll talk to you again soon.